your monsters, find your arenas only on Google Play. Gents, take it away. Let's crown our first world championship player. Here we go. We've got two guildies going at it. We've got second baby and we have Jack. I would imagine these two are going to have a whole lot of fun playing each other. Maybe I'm being a little selfish here, but I would love to see some cleaves coming out of these guys. But it looks like we're going to be seeing a Lulu first pick coming out of second baby. I don't know if second baby was looking to ban that hay gang. He threw his hands up a little there after the bans came out. Maybe he's a little upset about that pre ban Gianna, but it's going to be tough. Uh, well, Jack's going to be drafting that Ciara and the Connell. Of course, second baby hovering over a Molong. Possibly want to take a Diana to go with that since he has that low Lulu and Molong already being drafted. And it is going to be that Diana to help protect his team. Look at you, so you got it all. You got the predictions down for the draft. It's like you know them so well. I really want to see Jack play a little differently than he played against Frank. I feel like Jack didn't adjust to the drafts fast enough, whereas Second Baby was adjusting to these drafts really quickly. He knew what he needed to pick for future matches. He planned out the next game. I think Jack's going to fall behind because of this, but at the end of the day, both these players are incredibly strong, so we can see a lot of... Whoa! That's not something you see every day. That's not something I wanted to see today, but it looks like it's going through. We've got a Gany Hathor coming for Jack and we've got a Rika coming out for second baby. What could possibly be this next pick coming out of second baby to possibly stop the Gany Hathor pursue throughout this match? That is actually not a bad choice, but I really want to see him pick the Alexandra. Oh, goes for the Bellinus, the extra damage. Jack, with that, uh, Ganyathor is actually pretty effective against the Lulu. Ganyathor is very good, denies the Lulu extra turn opportunities. Oh, and a Tetra last pick. Tetra for the Rika here. We could see the Diana ban. Yep, we could very well see a Diana ban. I'm just really hoping to see one of these Gany or Hathors get banned out here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a little tough for Jack just because... Jack really doesn't have a lot of first turn control, let alone a lot of damage. The second baby taking out one unit on turn one entirely destroys Jack's potential. Well, it looks like that Reek is getting banned out and that Tetra is getting banned out. Speed lead for Jack, HP lead for second baby. We're going into 2017, guys. Welcome to Gany Hathor. Let's go, guys. Second baby versus Jack. And we have Jack taking first turn here. I don't think this Gany Hathor is actually going to get a full combo off. I'm pretty sure the Molong is going to get... Okay, well, there it is. There's the reset. It's kind of scary, though, because if you're going to reset the Molong, then you have uh, this whole Bellinus combo coming in. Well, not able to get the immunity off of all these units just yet. Diana looking to get a stun on top of the Ganymede does get that stun as well. Bomb could come out on top of the Diana to lock it down here because Lulu is going to be cleansing those up. Might actually need to use skill three. I could safety a skill two in, but I think skill three for the cleanse on the provoke for the Molong is pretty effective as well here. Yeah, return, a little bit more healing. Yep, definitely a lot more healing indeed. We've got Bellinus getting lots of defense breaks and some provokes out there, followed up by huge second skill. Lots of damage being applied by this fire druid, and we're gonna see the third skill happening here, shutting down the Molong and that Daphnis as well. We don't have that skill three up no more, nor that second skill. Doesn't matter, the second skill is back. And the Provoke from the Druid onto the Carnal does deny the two-turn sleep. Second Baby takes the round. And Jack is a little bit upset about having to use that uh, Ganya Thorn. Not quite getting it through. Yeah, definitely a fantastic first match there. Very quick. I love to see these awesome match there. I'm not quite sure the Gany and Thor was really, really that solid in a situation like this. I did like the Gany, but I feel like a Thor really needs to be set up for a last pick in an opportunity like this. You want that Chong Pong in there. You want the the Gianna or the Wound Saw, whatever helps you control more effectively. Most definitely. There was no AOE strip to help or anything to really keep back that Lulu from getting all those immunity up. Doesn't help that the Lulu was able to proc so much to keep up those immunity to help stop that lockdown that Jack was trying to pursue with, and he did not able to get any uh, Gany Hathor online. We've got pre-bans from last time. Hey, gang, and Gianna, the pre-bans. We've got two new pre-bans coming out here. Pre-ban for second baby into Jack might actually be the Sierra if he doesn't want to deny the first. So they just swapped the pre-ban. There it is. These two laughing at it a little bit. That's yeah, hysterical. <laughs> well, maybe they'll swap drafts. Gianna I'm going to see second baby pop in the uh, Gany Hathor here now that Jack uh, banned out. 
<laughs> yeah, there it is. And we're swapping the Lulu. These two are just having a ball over here. We've got Connell. We've got Mo Long being drafted by second baby. Jack looking to respond with two other picks, possibly taking the Diana this time. Mm -hmm. I do like the Mo Long and Carnal here. I like the double HQ lead. It's very good. It's very telling. Uh, second baby has the opportunity for Ragdoll. We can see the Molly come in here as well. Pontos is a good option. Has the Ganny. He has literally so many options into this. It's so flexible. Yeah, I definitely like that Pontos. Pontos, Ragdoll coming up for second baby. Could definitely lock those two units in there. Having the Okeanos and Trunkpunk already confirmed on Jack's side of the field. Jack looking to draft two more picks here after seeing the double LD Nat Fives coming out of second baby. Mm, I'd love to see Jack throw down a Nikki into this and ban all this Pontos. It could be a little too aggressive maybe, but it would be pretty wild to see either way. Most definitely could be wild indeed, but we're going to be seeing a Juno coming in for Jack. I'm not too sure this is what we wanted to see there. It's a very defensive play coming from Jack. We've noticed the defensive plays haven't really been very successful. That's a lot of sustain. He's going to be dropping down a Water Druid to go with that Juno. I actually really like this draft. I think this is very, very good into almost everything Second Baby can throw. That Suiki is actually very scary though. I think outside the Suiki, he could also pick a Fuki if he wanted, but it has to be careful of the control. Suiki is pretty effective here because what you're looking to ban on is you're looking to ban on Chung Pong. There's no defense break opportunity, and Suiki is really effective into the rest of these units. Gains a lot of damage over time, which is what Jack is basically running the comp for. Pretty scary. He was looking to ban that Ragdoll, but I don't know, he might have to ban the Suiki instead. Let's see what that ban is going to be. And it's actually going to be Mo Long. Mo Long, Chung Pung. It's going to be the bans going into this round two between Second Baby and Jack. Interesting. Well, I'm interested to see how effective this uh, Blue Kinky is here. He has a lot of strength, but no speed lead for Second Baby. Goes for the HP lead instead. That goes for that HP lead. Here we go, guys. Round two with Jack and Second Baby. Okiana's going to be kicking it off here. Looking for a reset on top of that Pontos. Another interesting tech uh, sometimes we see here on the uh, Suiki is actually triple revenge. Some people go slower side triple revenge for the defense break setup so that when they get an opportunity to take a turn, he absolutely uploaded it over the unit. Yeah, Second Baby just throwing down a ton of skill ones, but it looks like the Despair Stun's coming out on top of the Pontos. Not at all what Second Baby wanted to see. A lot of damage coming towards this Okeanos, but I'm sure, I'm sure Jax got the sustain for it. He most definitely does. Abelio has so much healing. Beast form, 10% healing per turn is really, really effective in a situation like this. It has to be careful. Oh, gets another despair stun. Juno with the value here, taking down the stuns. But he's got to be careful. That Suiki is stacking up. He's at 14 stacks already. That's a lot of stats he's going to get. That's a lot of stats indeed. We got the Lulu cycling more attack, uh, more HP, healing up the team a lot. Pontos is definitely the target Jack's trying to get rid of first. Goes for the transform already. Doesn't get the crit though. Gets the extra turn. Stun opportunity comes up. Nothing. Doesn't get it. Yeah, so much to stand on the side of Jack. It's looking very, very safe for Jack right now. Does get that reset on top of the Pontos. Lots to protect the Lulu. Max Dax here though. No defense break on the early hit. Counter does cleanse it off. Second baby might have to throw this. He might need that. And another counter from Juno. Juno is getting so many turns, so much value, a lot of despair stuns. Juno might be the most effective unit in this match here. Second baby's pretty upset by it. Yeah, it really is. There's the additional turn. Juno does not drop just yet, but uh, Pontos is going to be there. Pontos is not going to be there to drop that Juno. We got the healer coming out here. Juno is going to be staying alive. Oh, but Sawiki with the skill two should be enough to take it down. The skill two, the AoE, big life drain, and a lot of damage coming out. Here's the max stacks. There it is. A lot of damage on that field. Exactly what Second Baby needed to see. Looking for an additional turn to drop that Okeanos, and that's not what he's going to be getting here. We got double folks on the Sawiki and on top of that, uh, that uh, Connell as well. Man, how is Jack going to get through the Sawiki? It heals for so much. It does so much damage. Yeah, a lot of damage coming out of the Suwiki, but there is just so much to stand on the side of Jack. Almost in torrent range, goes to the wild blow, does not finish off that ragdoll just yet, but you know what? Lulu's going to be there, primed and ready. He's the defense break on the first hit, gets the defense break, not enough damage, extra turn! Suwiki going to take down the Okeanos. Second baby trying to turn it around with all the stand inside of Jack's field right now, but this Suwiki being so powerful match this is exciting this is the gameplay we were looking for at apac we wanted to see that aggression there it is the violent revenge build an extra turn though is going to give him the wild cure 
Yep, there's that healing. Lots of stain, like we talked about before. We're gonna try and get as much damage on that Suiki as possible. Look for attack bar reduction, maybe possible provoke. No provoke's gonna be landing here. You're gonna see that wild blow coming out of the Suiki. Suiki's still standing tall right now. Looking for that death break. Does land that death break. No initial turn coming out here. Is that the stun? No stun for the initial turn to the wild blow. It does not drop it. Lulu's gonna be ready to drop that Suiki. Now it's been turned. Jack flipped it on him. Jack takes round two away from second, baby. I gotta say, the most exciting part of this match is watching the player camps. Both of these players are so animated. They're having the time of their life. Hands are flying up, heads are flipping. Things are going on. These guys are enjoying themselves. They are passionate about what's going on. These are some wild matches. I really didn't expect Jack to take that when the Suiki was on the field there. I know, the Suiki was so powerful. There was just so much damage coming from that unit. But once again, the sustain on the side of Jack's field. Lulu shutting it down, finishing off that Suiki. What a powerful unit. Needed a little bit more life train on that Suiki. Didn't quite get it from the skill, two, skill one that he was looking for. Just needs those life train artifacts for that Suiki. That's right, pre-bans from last time. Gianna Haygang, wonder if we're gonna get another Gianna Haygang going into round three. <laughs> uh, we might get a Haygang Gianna this time instead. I don't know. It's looking like a pretty interesting set of pre-bans, but <laughs> oh, we do not see the Gianna. We see the Haygang Ragdoll instead. Yep, Haygang Ragdoll getting banned out. Second pick with the first pick. Let's see what he chooses to take away from Jack. Is it gonna be the Lulu? Oh. Oh, takes the Gianna first, slams it down, says, you didn't pre-ban it? I'ma take it. He's ready. Second baby could go for a very aggressive comp here. Sierra Pontos are both opportunities for this situation. Yep, Connell with that Gany looking very strong for second baby already, but Jack with that Okeanos and that Lulu also pretty strong. I need to be careful though. Jack does have a really fast Yin Hong. So Sierra Yin Hong is an opportunity here. Mo Long Yin Hong is also an opportunity. Ooh, does he choose locking that Yan Hong? Yan Hong not too bad, but it looks like Ciara Mo Long, meaning there's definitely going to be a Diana coming for second pick. Not a Diana choosing to go for the Savannah instead of the Diana. Ooh, I like choosing the to go for the Nephthys. Healy comp is huge. Oh, second baby doing exactly what you wanted to see earlier, Stoic. You wanted to see that aggressive cleave, and here it is. Second baby slamming it down right in front of Jack. Yeah, oh boy, this is what we all wanted to see at this hour. <laughs> This could be it. This could be the Yin Hong last pick. Could be enough. It might actually go for a Triton if he has it ruined fast enough. This last pick coming out of Jack. To turn things around is going to be a Diana. I don't know if that's going to be the unit to turn it around, but Diana's out and locked in. I think Jack conceded that he wasn't going to be able to take turn one against a second baby. This is really looking bad for him. Oh, and he also let that Nephthys through. This is going to be a little scary. He doesn't want to deal with the stun from the Gianna. Knows it's most likely the fastest unit. Need a very fast Nephthys to follow up this. That's right. Well, here we go, guys. We have round three with Jack in second, baby. We got the full team strip coming from that more Shields are coming up here. But we've got that third skill landing across the board of Jack's field. We've got that Seal of Magic going on to CR. W the attack bars on top of everybody. Big damage from Carnal coming in here on top of this Diana. Quite enough to break the shield, but here it comes. Here's the Sword Rain after the, the Gluttony, and it's going to be a lot of damage. There's the defense break. Extra turn as well. Provoke does land on top of that Diana. Diana, not what uh, Jack wanted to see here. There's the Ventilate back onto the Connell. All the defense break sitting on top of Jack's field right now, and he has that skill three once again. He's going to have to stun it up. This rotation, though, does give him the opportunity to take the stun on the Carnal. No longer has the Glancing Diva. 50% chance. Does he go for it? Doesn't get it, but an additional turn. Diana's going to go again. Might be enough. Could put the shield up. Really should put the shield up here. Mm, does put that shield up there. Look at the attack break, but you know what? Second Baby's still going with that third skill. Break some shields out there, dealing some good damage as well. But that additional turn, he's trying to take down that CR as a priority right now. Gets the silence on top of, and Glancing on top of that Diana. Ooh, and the Provoke, there it is. The big skill two from War takes out the Okiano. Sierra's one HP and she Ooh. goes down. Third game going to second, baby. Great match. I would love to see another one of those. Yeah, an incredible matchup from uh, second baby and Jack here. Jack gave up the Gianna 
opportunity for second baby and second baby saw it he went in he was like i got this easy cleave it's time let me just whip out the nesties and you know jack just conceded turn one and had to play really really defensively yeah, maybe we'll see the counter cleave out of jack and bring his own version I hope up so. against it up against second baby I'd love to see something aggressive here from Jack. We do know he has that Yin Hong fast combo turn one, has the Molong. He likes to play it too. Why not pick the Sierra Molong Yin Hong into second baby? It's gotta be a little risky though, because that ragdoll is hard to kill, hard to snipe, that damage reduction. Oh! Double Gianna. Interesting. So Jack, see not actually wanting to pick the Gianna in this composition, wants to lean for a different uh, first pick that's valuable to second baby, most likely going to take the Lulu here first, or a Sierra. Second baby denying it because obviously he doesn't want to give the first pick Gianna to Jack. Let's see what Jack's going to be taking away, and he is going to be locking in the Lulu once again, showing that he's not afraid to take a little bit of damage from second baby second baby hovering over the connell he did show the gany in the cr before but he's gonna go with the mo long this time i like the mo long i really like this double hp lead it's very good against someone who takes the um someone who takes the the lulu early on right it denies them that really safe turn two composition jack going in for that okiana shrunkling though wants to play like a little bit of a defensive control cleave here who takes away the molly and brings out a shoo shoo instead Oh man, traditionally, I haven't liked seeing this very much in the tournament so far. Same with the America's Region Cup, but with Second Baby's ragged on the field, this might actually be effective enough. He just really needs to top up. He does have a lot more damage than Jack does right now. So in this situation, Shushu is not actually so bad. Yeah, it's not so bad. Not very aggressive either, though. Let's see what Jack's going to be wrapping up his draft here after seeing the Ragdoll and the Shushu. And it is going to be that Water Druid coming back once again and the Ciara. But you know what? Rika's coming out for second baby signaling a ban on top of that Lulu. I actually really like that Rika. It's a good pick. He's got a lot of opportunity here. He just needs a little bit of chip damage from the Carnal. And he'll be able to snipe it out with the Molong afterwards, effectively ignoring the concept of Abelia's passive. Yep, HP lead for second baby, speed lead for Jack. Is it going to be enough? We're about to find out. Can second baby end it here? Can Jack take this in to a game five? He needs this reset here on the Molong. Does land it. Gets the reset. Big value here into Molong. That's some great value indeed. Does Juice go for the big skill too? Is he going to push back the attack bar and reset for Connell and Molong? Choosing to go with that skill three instead, but does get the additional turn for the skill two anyways. Here it comes. Here's the immunity. Immunity does go up, but sadly, no cleanse on the Molong. Saves the skill two, wants to save that cleanse. Needs to go down for the Sierra as fast as possible. That's right, second baby trying to work down that Sierra immediately. That's going to be the unit of focus right now. Not able to apply a bomb. Immunity across the field of second baby. No provokes going to be landing on top of that Sierra. Open for a death break, not with that glancing. Yeah, knows that he has the glancing on his Molong, so can't defense break the Sierra no matter what. Glancing debuff plus the off element means 100% chance to land. Goes for the Oki in that situation. Ooh, really trying to work down the Sierra still. Big skill too. But we've got that wild cure coming out from this water druid. Ooh, and the extra turn means a little bit more healing there for Sierra. Might actually rotate back immediately. There it is. There's the wild blow. Rotates back. Only two turn cooldown there. He's going to take the bomb. Sierra's gotten a lot of rotations here. We're looking for an AoE stun. Only gets that stun on top of the CR with the slows on top of the Baleo and the Chung Pung. Additional turns coming out here. Any more stuns coming out with Molong? No stuns coming out. Well, that was huge value there for the Molong. Getting stunned on the Abelio denies the skill three, but the pushback from Chung Pong and another violent proc from Sierra. Sierra gets another turn to rotate. Yep, Sierra is going to be staying alive just a little longer. We have that reset ready. She decides to put it on top of the Molong, but we get an additional turn coming out of this Connell here, looking to apply a poke on top of the Sierra. Ooh, we do get a resist from the Shushu. Not enough damage to kill the Shushu. Shushu in a good place. Second baby actually could take the potential here to win out. The defense break does come up, but he really, really needs the value here from Isabelle. He needs an extra turn, needs the heal. Ooh, looking to deal some serious damage to this Chung Pung. Chung Pung is definitely going to be the unit of focus right now. He's kind of hoping for some defense breaks. Choose to go for a big second skill, not actually doing anything at all with it. The glancing debuff. This could make a break, and he needs the crit. Does second baby get the crit? No crit. Glancing debuff into the Oki. Can't kill it. Not enough damage with the oh, carnal either. either. 
for some attack or pushback, trying to knock down this Ragdoll. Ragnall's not going to be coming down here. Reckless Assault onto the Baelio. It's exactly what it needed. Big skill three. Second baby takes round four and moves forward to the final. Second baby making it into SWC World Finals, managing to get to the finals of the APAC Cup. Second baby, our youngest, youngest player to make it. Yeah, this match was a back and forth between these two young competitors where you could see how much it meant to them. They were going back and forth, throwing their hands up as a, a great call here by Once in Love. Things were happening <laughs> between these two players. Uh, but in the end, it's second baby that will be the first representative of the APAC region at the World Championship here in 2021. Uh